We're given a function entirely in terms of a graphical representation and a numerical table, no symbolic form at all. And so the calculations that we're going to need to do depend largely on a thorough understanding of the fundamental theorem of calculus and also the concept of the average rate of change of a function. So in part A, we're just asked to find uh, when the car is has a positive acceleration. So in this case, positive acceleration, I'll just write it out, corresponds to increasing velocity. V increasing. And from the graph we can see So this occurs um, for t from 0 to 35, and also t from 45 to 50, just reading off for when velocity is increasing. Part b asks us to find the average acceleration of the car over the interval. So average acceleration here is the average rate of change of velocity. Let's write that out. Average rate of change of the velocity. So we just take the velocity at 50, subtract the velocity at 0, divide by 50, and we have 72 over 50 feet per second squared. Part C is a little more interesting because it asks us to find an approximation for the acceleration at t equals 40. We don't have direct information about the acceleration at t equals 40. And so we're going to approximate the value at 40 from the average acceleration over an interval that includes 40. I suppose we could handle it from uh, 40 to 35 or from 45 to 40. But to me, the more sensible thing to do is to take the average acceleration over the interval from 35 to 45. So that's what I'm going to write. We're going to approximate use average excel from t equals 35 to t equals 45. And so we have um, v45 minus v35 over 10. And that's going to give us 60 minus 81. Um, which equals negative 21 over 10 feet per second squared. Finally, Part D asks us to explain the meaning of the integral 0 to 50 vt dt. Again, from the fundamental theorem, this is the net change in position from t equals 0 to t equals 50.
that change in position of the car. Now we have to use a midpoint sum to approximate it. The intervals have to be equal in length and since we have to have five of them and we go from 0 to 50 each interval has to have a width of 10 where 10 is in seconds here and so the midpoint rule is really just going to be 10 times v of 5 plus v of 15 plus v of 25 35 and 45. And we can look up each of these values. V of 5 is 12. V of 15, 30. V of 25 is 70. V of 35 is 81. V of 45 is 60. Add all those up. 30 plus 70 is 100. 81 plus 60 is 141. That makes 241 plus 12 is 253. We have 10 times 253 equals 2,530 feet. That's all there is to it.